Hi there, welcome back to Prominence episode 20. We are still in the end. Uh, for those that watched the last episode, I found this place here, just your standard end city, complete with Elytra ship and a load of shulkers, which has been awesome. So I've been back, back home. I've dropped off a lot of my stuff in uh, my storage. I'm back here because I noticed this at the end of the episode and it's intriguing me. It's like an end city, but, but different. So let's, I can't see any shulkers flying around, which is just as well. We have an obsidian altar, bosses of mass destruction. Interesting. I don't know what this is all about, but I know it's a long way down. How do we get in? After all that, it appears to be just a big lump of stone and bricks and things and obsidian. There's nothing in it. What a letdown. Anyway, uh, let's continue with something hopefully a little bit more entertaining for you guys. It is so good having wings, being able to explore a place like this from above. And yeah, hopefully I can find some more places to loot. I think, I hope, I'm heading towards where I need to go. End Barrens doesn't sound good. Oh, it is the right way. Okay, that's cool. Oh. There's another one of these strange floating pointless things. So I'm just going to fly right past that one. Well, I have to admit, I'm slightly disappointed having gone all the way back to that giant end structure thing. I need to find that at the moment, there's certainly nothing of interest there whatsoever. Bit disappointed, but never mind. So I've had to think of a different thing to do this episode. And this is it. This is the Brady Town Station. Um, a very laggy Brady Town at the moment. Look at that, 18 frames per second. Um, but it'll do. Hopefully it's not affecting the video too much. Fingers crossed. So we're at the station. Um, there's some, some train tracks, some signs, some platforms, but not much else. So the next step for me is I'm going to do a little bit of building. And I don't have a plan. I normally design in creative and then, and then build the same thing in this survival world. But all I've done at the moment is hollow out this platform uh, under the platform under the railway lines so this will be kind of a station that goes under the tracks with some stairs to go up either side i've been playing around with different floor patterns just to just to sort of come up with something so i can never get i'm never happy with floors much like with roofs actually so these are some of the things some of the things for the patterns I, i've come up with there are also a number of options that i've got here in terms of ceiling design so these are from uh the Joban client mod. So this is the mass transit railway mod uh, companion packs. And we also have these kind of bar ceilings, the like rows of lights and non lights. So you can actually control where you want the lighting to be. These are very typical in the London underground, as actually I think are these. So I've got options. So I just need to have a play around with different uh, different patterns, work out which one I like, and, and then, yeah, we'll get building. So, first of all, I think we need to build, probably need to dig a little more out so that we can actually get into the station from the other side. And then we'll also build a little a little bit of a front to this station. Not sure what style I'll go yet. I'm just going to have a play and see what I come up with. Well then, I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out they're not 100 percent complete in all honesty i've run out of time to get this episode out but so far so good we have a bit more interesting front of the station we've got a roof simply uh, spruce slabs is it spruce slabs yes yeah, spruce slabs on the roof and it's it's i've not gone over the top and uh, i think it's it doesn't need to be over the top in this village it's it's a fairly simple basic village basic basic sort of building design 
and I've just elaborated a little bit. The, there's a nest, a bee nest that I was attached to a tree, but I didn't have the heart to get rid of it, so I've kept it there for now. I might need it later on, but yeah, just a little bit of paint, a few paintings on on the front. I don't know why I did that. It just breaks up the the terracotta, I suppose. But I'm not quite sure what to do with that space. So if you've got any suggestions for that, I don't think the paintings quite work. But yeah, we've got some hang lanterns, nice and simple, some sort of plant planters at the bottom here. And then as we go in, there are some bigger differences inside. We have some ticket machines. We also have some music. I don't know where that music is coming from, in all honesty. Um, these are Minecraft Transit Railway uh, items or assets, including the ticket barriers, which don't actually let you through uh, unless you have a ticket and you have to buy a ticket in a ticket machine, which is pretty cool, but I don't know how to do that yet. I think I need some emeralds. Uh, so for now, I've set myself a little uh, uh, staff entrance. Platform numbers are advertised on the stairs for each, each area. There's one over there. Uh, loads of platforms from that stairs. This display board is not being used at the moment, but this one is just your standard station update summary, station summary of all the platforms and services and stuff like that. So yeah, I love these end bars. They look pretty good. End rods, sorry, end rods. Just light up that display board nicely. <clears throat> Losing my voice a little bit here. Apologies about that. We've got a, some sort of map thing that is also from the transit mod, but I don't think that does anything. Right, okay, um, this is the staff entrance here. And and here we are. Oh, that's bright on these shaders. Okay, uh, I built this without shaders on. That's what it looks like. Hmm, I will probably need to turn that down, tone that down a little bit. If you want to sit down, we've got a nice uh, seating area, plenty of seating area for people waiting for their trains. It just occurred to me that they could really do with a, a display board this side as well of the front entrance because they can only see the train times if they're outside. So I might have to do something on this side, possibly, whilst I'm toning the lights down. All of these walls, they're not finished, obviously. I'm not going to leave them like that, but this is probably where I'll build in some shops and, and things like that. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, it's just a few villagers and they're selling their wares. Loads of empty space. Could put some more benches in, I suppose. I, I didn't want to overcrowd it too much. Last thing to show you in the concourse is one of my favorite mods that I've discovered in recent times, immersive paintings. So you can actually choose what paintings you want or you can add your own. So I want something. So for those like myself that have skipped, obviously I'm staff, so I don't need to pay for tickets. But for those that tr think about trying to jump over these barriers and not paying their fare, we need something here to just scare them off and just to warn them that there will be consequences. So I have come up with a, a painting or a picture that I think will do that job. It's this guy here. Do you recognize him? If you do, yeah, you're probably almost as old as me. And if you don't, this is the chief baddie from Ghostbusters 2. And he he comes to life from a painting. And look at him. You don't want to mess with that face, do you? No, you don't. And he'll be watching those coming in through the ticket barriers. Won't you? Yes, okay, he's my first member of staff. We're gonna go on a train ride, like I promised, to the, the village near the stronghold, just to show you a little bit of the world uh, outside of the normal area that I show you. We need to catch the Polar Express, which is five minutes away. Uh, we don't not want to go there, we want to go to the end of the line, and it is platform three. So let's take a look upstairs. So I think platform three is this one here. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you about these things. These are very, they're quite good to look at, but you can only walk up the middle bit. You can't walk up the sides, uh, unfortunately. Otherwise it doesn't work as stairs, sadly. 
there we go. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit janky, but there we go. Right, I haven't actually put, I just realised I haven't actually put platform signs up here. That's not my train. Uh, we have some red, can you see it? Red bevel glass, which is just covering the platform. I'm not sure whether I like it or not as a platform roof. It does make this sort of cool red colour on the platform though. That's quite cool. So I like that. So platform three is this one. Train arrives here. Once again, there is no signage up here, so we have no idea how long that's going to take. So I think we'll just sit back and wait for it. Excuse me. While I'm waiting for the train, I might as well do my outro now because, uh, yeah, we're just going to have some nice music playing us out. And this train journey will be hopefully quite beautiful, quite scenic. And hopefully you enjoy it. And let me know if you do, because I can do more. It's uh, one hell of a job building these railway lines, but it does, it does mean I get to sit back and enjoy them. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, it's been a bit of a different episode. I did very minimal adventuring today, just a little bit of building as well. I'm really happy with this station. There's still a few more things I need to do, more signage, etc. Um, even some benches on the platforms would be quite useful for, for long waits for trains. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy the train ride that's just about to happen. And I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.